Hi guys, so for about seven days now, we have been trying to prepare our lab without milk. Yeah, I'm here to show you guys the, the result of our fermentation of the rice wash as I showed in the previous uh, video. The fermentation of the rice with molasses and the black salt. This is my hydroponic stand, so I just decided to use it for this um, video. So here is the container where we are fermenting our rice as a brown rice is where we are fermenting it. I'll open it in a while. Okay, so I would like to transfer it into this one to help me to be able to pour it easily into this. I don't have a funnel, so I'm, I think I'll be good with this. So we are going to use these containers right here okay so let's start uh before i open this i've been opening it and uh, checking i've been shaking it together every day like you shake like that 90 times that i showed you in the previous video you shake together and then you open you allow the air because when you shake to know that you are getting a good result the moment you get to about i think four days or so when you shake you feel that there's the, the that the hair inside is trying to escape so once you open the container you feel it so um that's what you get if everything is going fine so right now i'm just going to open it and see what we have i bet you this is going to be sweet hmm this is great this is great okay hmm smells really nice like something fermenting that alcohol kind of feel okay let me come close to the camera i think you can see i believe you can see what we have inside okay yeah <clears throat> so this is what we have and um, the beautiful thing about uh, this guy here is that you can reuse the rice so you can just start another round of fermentation to produce a lab with the same rice so right now i think there will be there's, there's a need to see if some part of it so i'm just going to pour it into this one don't forget we have molasses here we have black salt and we have um molasses black salt and we have water apart from the rice whoa Okay. Hey, shut up. Okay, so this is what we have left. Yeah, this is what we have left. You can see. Yeah. So right now I'm just going to do I really want to see if this thing I think I should be able to pour it and manage it like that okay so you want to get a clean container that has been pre-washed 
and then you pour inside i prefer using this kind of bottles oh i hope it's not gonna pour okay i think i got that pretty well so this is me transferring my lab without milk into a bottle I think I tried enough to, to prevent the rice from falling into the liquid when I was pouring from the other container so the only substance I have here is like the, the, the rice bran a few of them because the rice had some bran before we started the fermentation so we have one bottle I think this guy here is one and a half liter so I'm just gonna move to the next one Okay, so let's see if I'll get it clean. Pouring, okay, cool. I think I got good pouring skills. But if you are not able to pour it like this, I'll advise you to use um, a funnel. I'm able to do it because I'm used to doing stuff like this. Okay. Okay. And that's all. Oops. Sorry, I said I didn't get... I said I didn't pour the rice inside, but I, I think... Um, just a little came inside here so this is what we have if you watched the previous video you might want to ask I think we added three liters of water to this thing here so apart from saying yes the, the rice three liters of water half liter of molasses here apart from saying yes the rice took some you know for the swelling and the coloration and all that there was a day i was trying to shake it together shake it shake it and just like i said there will be a feeling like the gas the hair inside wants to escape so it just popped open the the cover and some of this thing poured so i just left it you know there was a mess so i just continued with what i had left in the container so that's why we are not able to fill up this one filling up this one will give us three liters combined with the other one then uh, thinking of the 500 mil of molasses so we are supposed to have more than these two if not because of the spillage so that's the reason why we are not having the quantity that we plan to get so that is your lab without milk and this is what we we'll serve to our birds as lactobacillus you know the good the probiotics the good bacteria inside their gut which helps to clean their gut and also expels or chances the bad bacteria gets them out of their system so this gives you healthy birds healthy birds okay i'm gonna perceive it again hmm really nice i wish you guys could actually feel what i'm feeling here so that is our lab without milk i'm going to reuse this rice i think i should do that i'm going to reuse this rice for another set at least to cover up for the quantity i missed so i'm going to do the same thing again thank you guys for watching i hope you guys can produce something like this too from your hand so very soon i will be feeding i'll be serving this 
love to my chickens and my turkey just before i go uh one of the ways you can keep seeing this kind of video is by hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel so go ahead right now and hit the like button subscribe to the channel and then we'll click the notification bell so you can get notifications when new videos are posted thank you see you in the next video